to discuss uh, the All Progressives Congress upcoming convention and to also look at uh, that uh, 37 member zoning committee that has been set up by the opposition PDP. Well, I'm being joined by a Rise News Analyst, Dr. Sam Amadi. Dr. Amadi, thank you so much for being here tonight on the program. And uh, you know what? Let's, I want to actually start with the opposition because it seems like they look, you know, more poised and more organized, looking at the fact that they have their national organs in place, especially looking at INEX timetable. Mm -hmm. But this whole zoning and micro zoning, it seemed to be a challenge for the opposition. Do you think they'll be able to surmount this, especially looking at ahead to, you know, to the all important INEC timetable and the 2023 elections? I think like, um, like you said, PDP may be in a better shape because they have the organs in place, they have a national working committee, uh, but maybe they, they would have been asking for more time. I mean, zoning is usually a controversial issue, hot political potato, but more so now because of uh, the the Buhari presidency maybe has weaponized this sense of exclusion inclusion. But again, the PDP response traditionally uh, would be to create consensus. Uh, and so the 37 member is an idea of saying, okay, we just don't need to fight over this. We've got to get equal repetition. So the 37 members but that is six states and FCT, and each of those people, if you look at the list, we see people like even serving governors, for example, mm -hmm. in Enugu State, you saw, you see the list of the name of the existing city, Uguani there, I think uh, Benue uh, Autumn is there, the most of the uh, former governors, Dankwaba, former governors, former ministers, high-ranking party leaders, ABC, Mosu, for Anambra, and all that. So what that tells you is that at the highest level of responsibility, the party would like to zero on this issue and manage it in a manner that reinforces perhaps their capability to wrestle power from APC rather than diminish it and again not uh, lead to you know fraction and maybe a split we saw what happened in 2014 uh, with Jonathan's election that uh, led to break off uh, around 2011 2014 to the formation of APC so the people will be keeping that in mind now Again, from the feelers we're getting, uh, it looks like um, you know two groups basically: pro um, zoning and <laughs> don't zone. Now, the pro zoning group, largely south southern politicians, who make the case of it is of Buhari that should be a natural switch, switch. And then the no zoning also from the north and elsewhere. Some southerners may argue that look in the PDP has been 14 years, 16 years, and 14 of North South. So there is really, the argument here is that there is no equity or justice between North and South in the PDP. Mm. But I think some people would take the view that if the Southern advocacy for the uh, zoning had zeroed in on Southeast, the argument here is that if they had said zone to South is specific, the Northerners would probably agree that there's, you know, issue of justice here because Southeast has not been there. Mm -hmm. But if you talk in terms of not South general, that's the argument, is that it doesn't really strike a chord mm -hmm. on justice. So why go South where you have 14 years of PDP and two years of PDP? Uh, that's in, 14 in years of South, of South PDP president. And exactly, and, and two years two of from North. The North. So it doesn't yeah. strike a justice chord. It's mm -hmm. like, okay, just routine conventional shift. You know, so so I think that's really the, the the weakness of the southern argument that they are saying south, but south could be anywhere and not south. So that that bite, that punch in terms of justice, say this zone has not got it. So let's go to that zone again. The timing, the argument is also that look, the the timing this time the country seems to people are saying oh we need a leader who we can all guarantee that he can deliver, but of course. North South, we can produce, every zone in this country can produce a credible leader. So I think the PDP quandra right now is how do you deal with zoning in a conclusive sense with the short time you have? Because they'll be winner loser. And then if that happens, then you need to think in terms of dealing with, you know, reconciliations, you know, mitigating the problem, uh, redressing issues, and bringing back those who feel this, this, this courage. So it might be that because of the this crisis, the time ev timelines and all that, people are buying from. Maybe we are going to stumble into open contest because it looks. Okay, like that's a, that, that's the challenge right now. That some you know analysts like yourself would actually throw mm -hmm. up. They say as it stands right now, the PDP has opened it up thanks to that mm -hmm. uh, Bala Mohammed, that's the uh, report. governor of Bauchi State mm -hmm. report that says mm -hmm. throw up, especially yeah. the presidential. And they did nothing you know. for the long period of that report. What? 
In the meantime, yeah. looking at the argument really by uh, Atiku Abubakar, mm -hmm. who's the front runner of the party, he says, you know what, the North has not had it enough with the PDP in part. They've had 14 years of South presidency and just two years of the North. But that is within the confines mm -hmm. of the party. How should the PDP be handling this right now? Looking at the present condition of Nigeria while also trying to make sure the party Absolutely. does not see an implosion. Absolutely. I think PDP should do ranking of value. So the first value for PDP should be winning election. We just want to uh, do election is three things. You need to optimize the advantage. You have to have the numbers. You have to keep your house in order. So they have to look at PDP is in a better shape than APC. So you want to keep that momentum. You want to keep that advantage going on. The second thing you have to prioritize is a sense of inclusion. So that's what the zone responds to. So the question is, okay, fine. Do we have the liberty and the luxury? Quote unquote. In 1999, it was a different ball game entirely. You had a military transition to democracy. Mm -hmm. No party was incumbent. The a a APP is ag was arguably weaker than the PDP. So the argument of the PDP people is, look, at that time, maybe we could entertain this idea of zoning. And by the way, we didn't even zone, nobody knew about the zoning until a few, for the PDP, until the, a few days to the election. Equipo was coasting to victory until PDP go, go to the North, go to the, the Northern candidate, sorry, a Southwest candidate of Basanjo. So the critical issue here for PDP would be that they need to rank values. We have to stay united, mm. we have to win the election by all means. By the center, we have to address these issues of exclusion. Now, it's, it's in negotiation, it's about expanding the pie. Can we create a largest presidency. And we can do that by saying, look, not that winner takes all, whoever wins, south or not. Can we get back to a much more structured shared power? Not just present vice, but also look at the executive branch. What are those juicy offices? The security arrangement, the economic powers. Mm. Can we, before election, share it? So each group comes with their own person. So it's not like at the discussion of the president. In other words, we can, quote unquote, the imperial presidency that Buhari has given yeah, us. Yeah, the power then, of the presidency. Exactly. And, and let the structures really so work for the party. I think that's a way to escape the right. inclusion. And I think, like, the game is changing. The three not only leading candidates. Yeah, I was going to go yeah. there now because looking at the fact that we've seen Tambuwa, you know, Saraki, uh, um, even B uh, Bala, Bala Muhammad, they've all been holding meetings really to sort of come up with some consensus within themselves. Do you think this will be able to, you know, counter what we've seen from the likes of uh, Atiku Abubakar and even the, uh, the southeastern agitation, if we have to microzone mm -hmm. it there? I, I think what they're doing is politically smart, I mean, to leverage come together and get a consensus candidate. But then it's it has the unintended consequence of ethnicizing and you may be building a wall of separation between North and South. So if they're not come with a consensus candidate and say, look, you guys, we go for a block, this is Northern candidate, it means that the election the primary will not be a North and South. Mm -hmm. And so I think the party can head off that division right now by being more pragmatic. And if you ask me, they kept it too late to talk about zoning. So maybe this is a time for them to go back to the script and write and say, okay, how do we, in alternative to zoning, how can we create a presidency, locate in the south and the north, a particular person we can trust, who has the competence, who has acceptability in Nigeria, who everybody will, 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 will put together. Maybe a character like Peter B in the south, maybe somebody like maybe Tambua in the north, maybe, you know, we look at people we can trust and we can pass the test of both competence and credibility. And then they can build around it and make a choice between those options. Mm. And then create this sense of ownership around it. At this point, the, the lateness of it, the fact that ethnic, you know, zona kind of people are mm. kind of digging in on zona blocks could be a problem for PDP, you know, building the kind of consensus and unity. But I, I guess the PDP leaders are smart enough to know that what's at stake is it's, it's the high stake loss if they don't oh. raise their power now. Absolutely. This is the weakest point of the APC government. Right. And, time and Atiko Baka would say if the PDP does not get it in 2023, the party will not get it. And this might just signal the end of the party. In the yeah. meantime, Dr. Sam Amadi for in depth analysis tonight. I say thank you. Thank you.